It's a turkey, real cheese. Real cheese. Real cheese. Real cheese. I like my cheese drippy, bro. Real cheese. Ooh. Cheese. I like my cheese drippy, bro. Real. Real cheese. Ooh. Real cheese. Did you know that it has cheese real? Real cheese. Real cheese. Ooh. All right, guys, I think they got it. Real cheese. Real cheese. Are we advertising the cheese or the lunch pack? It's a turkey, real cheese. Real cheese. Real cheese. Ooh. Shut up, you donkeys. Everyone knows it has real cheese now. Anyways, that's your most probably aware a few weeks ago. Logan Paul, KSI, and Mr. Beast, they tag team each other and they decided to come up with Lunchly, a lunch product which has real cheese. They've been getting absolutely shitted on because of the way they've been advertising it. You want bitches? Eat Lunchly. You will get everyone in the world. Six packs of Lunchly. And you're probably aware of Dan TDM. One day he was bored and he decided to make one tweet which gave KSI trauma for life. Stay mad, Dan TDM fans. Womp womp. <laughs> Have you seen what I've been going through? Okay, These but I'm not Game. And we talked about Logan Paul's response as well. The way he reacted to Dan to DM was as if you're in a family gathering, you pss, pss to your cat, and your random cousin who's never met your cat does a pss, pss to him as well. But your cat goes to him, and you both laugh it out, but inside you're dying. <laughs> <laughs> Let me put this in the context. Imagine being a mother who's angry that we made this. Crackers, bro? You mad because we made crackers? This is what you're mad about? Bruh. It's a turkey, real cheese, and cracker stack. But anyways, I don't need to speed you up to things. You probably watched the downfall of KSI. KSI is done. KSI finally, Logan Paul finally done over. It is, I swear to God, that this time it is finally over. You watch enough of these commentary channels. You probably know KSI, Logan Paul, and Mr. Beast better than they know themselves at this point. And you're probably aware of Rosanna as well, Mr. Beast's bestie. He, she's not only Mr. Beast's bestie, she's also bestie with the whole Lunchly crew and just 10 days ago she decided to buy the Lunchly pack and review it and she was really looking forward to that real cheese experience as it was advertised everywhere but the real cheese had different plans. This one does not say epic ingredients. I think I would be the first. These are molded. Okay, so these ones are supposed to be good until December, and we just got them from the store. It says used by December 8th, 2024, and today's date is October 16th. So these are supposed to be good for like another two months. This is molded. That's mold. This is not safe, especially like kids that are so young, they may not know what mold looks like, so they might just eat it. I saw a picture circulating about mold, but I didn't know if it was fake or, you know, I just had heard about it, but this is real, you guys. Now, I know what you're thinking. I thought the same thought that you had the thought that I have the th thought right now. The Mr. Beast, for some reason, Mr. Beast, Logan Paul KSI's biggest hater, randomly just found a mold inside the real cheese. The biggest hater. What a coincidence. Did she just gift herself a flower on Valentine's Day? That's really sad for staging the mold inside the cheese. I thought the same thing, but as it turns out, it is not only her, but there are many other people who filmed their experience with the real cheese as well. And there's mold. Why is there mold in the lunch lay? Oh my no, god. Let me get, let me get it back. It's actually disgusting. This is mold in the cheese and this is really unhealthy. You should not eat mold. I don't know if this is an issue in their recipe development or packaging. I think it's a packaging issue. The sealant here feels really cheap, like whatever is holding this on the top. And obviously the video went viral. Everyone started to talk about it. It was a big deal after all the real cheese advertisements. For the past couple of days, the whole internet has been multi and obviously Logan Paul or one of them had to come forward and talk about it. In this situation, Logan Paul and KSI, they did a podcast a couple of days ago and they addressed the Rosanna mold situation. This is what Logan had to say. Yeah, like I like my cheese moldy, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Yeah, no, that, that was it. That was all response. Not only that, other Twitch streamers wanted to prove Rosanna wrong as well and wanted to prove that the cheese is actually real and it is not moldy. As they opened it, the cheese was like, psych! Now, Rosanna also posted this picture that she got from NX Moon Reads, which said the item is has been discontinued, the Lunchly Turkey Stack. Did they discontinue with it? She was going with a question mark and saying that she just received this picture. And after this moldy situation and the discontinuage picture started going viral, 
other people started you know posting pictures of it in shopping malls saying that the fda removed it because of the public health concern and this is the time where logan had enough and he wanted to answer the whole thing all right this is the best one yet according to x users various retail stores have recalled lunchly products due to fda's concerns the sign in the tweet reads due to public health concerns the fda has recalled lunchly products we will restock as soon as deemed fit for consumption and ship through our warehouses but that's so weird because fda recalls are public by law and as you can see lunchly is not on the fda recall list so hold up that means that this sign is fake somebody typed up and printed out a 100 lie about lunchly being recalled taped it to the fridge then a picture of it was taken by someone else and posted on social media as if it were real community notes where you at <laughs> anyway i had my forensics team look into it and they were able to find the exact location where this allegedly took place by photo matching the tweet with the great door handle and the sales labels then we cross-referenced it with the locations that we distribute to it's a fred meyer and i had someone go there boom exact match same door handle same tag same products even but hold on where is the FDA recall sign? Also, we can see the sales data. After Lunchly was recalled, <laughs> it wasn't, but after that sign was posted, we continued to sell out all of the Lunchly's that hit the shelves in that store. So who put that fake sign up? Turns out it was an employee named who said this when we confronted him. And I quote, that was like kind of rumorized, I guess, through around here, but we had seen a posting about that, but I was the one who had written that. But since we got Lunchly back, it's been taken down. When it comes down to the actual, like, I guess, accountability of it, it was a rumor that was up in the air. Since we had heard that the FDA whole thing was kaput, we took it down. Yeah, it was more of like a, uh, yeah, it wasn't like a, Anyway, hater or dumbass, I don't know, maybe both. Oh, and I also saw this video. As of right now, it is believed that all of the lunch trees are being discontinued in various stores. Yeah, that's also not true. Turkey Stackums are not discontinued. Stores are selling them as we speak, and they're also still on Kroger's website, which would be crazy for an item that's discontinued. Hey, and look, I know some people are driving up to 130 miles just to find lunch trees, but please be patient as we try to ramp up production to meet the demand. But it's just crazy to me that we're a $4 lunch kit, and in the first four weeks, our headquarters had a bomb threat. The FBI has identified the individual. He's based in London, which is crazy because we don't even distribute there. A fabricated FDA recall that never happened. An attention-hungry little clout goblin who has made it her entire identity to speak negatively on all things Mr. Beast. And we'd love to think this is all just a coincidence, but it's a nah, we call him Cap. The fact is, the USDA inspects every finished food lot and approves it before even leaving our facility. And yes, it's possible that issues happen in transit, like seal breaking or at the store level with rough handling. But just like any produce you buy, problems can arise. And our retail partners are great. They'll offer a full refund. And we are happy to assist anyone at any time if you email our customer service. But at the end of the day, the product speaks for itself. In our first five weeks in Kroger, we've already outsold Lunchables and comparable SKUs that also sell drinks inside. We're going to keep innovating and improving our product as we attempt to disrupt this archaic industry that's been run by the same corporate giants for the past 120 years. It is a new era and the ops are going to have to try harder. <laughs> <laughs> sure, but what about the real moldy cheese situation? The people who delivered it, did they drop it and once on impact, the cheese got moldy? Is that the reason why? And then KSI decided to jump on it. Oh my god, Logan Paul cooked! What did he cook? The only thing he cooked was giving people diarrhea and food poisoning. Yes, sure, a dumbass came forward and put a picture on the wall. Oh, the FDA and took a picture and wanted to go viral. That is the only thing you would respond to? Th that is cooking? And the funny part is his fake laugh throughout this whole video as if he doesn't care, as if he cooks something up. <laughs> I'm not sure. Cheese can be moldy. Sh shit like this happens all the time. Not every cheese is perfect, but when you advertise it this much, real cheese, real cheese, did you know it has real cheese? Even when logan you know gave uh logan's wife when she gave birth to their kid they had a lunchly pack behind the whole thing so it was advertisement after advertisement i'm surprised the first words coming out of the baby's mouth wasn't real cheese it's the way they advertise things and fool the kids with these type of advertisements oh my life is gonna be so unhealthy now in the hospital my life is gonna be so unhealthy now with the baby coming but you know what will make it healthy <laughs> Sorry, English left the chat for a second. What will make it healthy? Lunchly! It's just super embarrassing for this many moldy cheese coming out after all these advertisements. Even for the Lunchly, the whole thing saying that it's a healthier option than Lunchables. It's so much better. You know why? Because it has electrolytes. And then from Dr. Mike's video when he came out and he said that, you know, what about the sodium? There's nothing said about sodium behind the prime bottle and he gave a perfect example i don't remember what it was but he said like imagine a peanut butter sandwich and you only give the nutrition of the jam you don't give anything about the you know the peanut butter you're not gonna talk about it you're just gonna say that 
Electro highlights. You don't need to know anything else. Ele Electro high. Honestly, if they came out and said that, oh yeah, this moldy cheese situations happen to all sorts of cheeses. I know we said our cheese is real, but even the real ones get moldy. If they would have said that shit straight to our face, I would have respected the response. Instead, they came out and said, discontinued? Who told you? This donkey? And absolutely just shit it on a random person on Twitter. But yeah, anyways, I just wanted to talk about this moldy situation that Logan Paul has. Wait, I think so I think someone broke into the house. <laughs> it's actually me. Parkour! I don't know if you noticed, but it's actually me. Sorry for making you shit your pants again. I just wanted to fuck with you for Halloween, but for a second I just realized that, you know, a majority of this community on this channel, they're above the age of 65. So that means you are one scream away from a heart attack, and honestly, I don't want any blood in my hands. I promise that will be the last time of me scaring you. But anyways, as usual, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Like, subscription, and if you're new here, take it easy. I'll see you in the next one.